All right, hello everyone and welcome to this Getting Started with Pipedrive series of training videos brought to you by the Marks Group. In this video, we will be talking about pipelines. Um, this is the real heart of Pipedrive here um, and we're going to talk about customizing pipelines, how you can move deals from one stage to another, one pipeline to another, um, and then the various options that pipelines do have. All right, so um, you can follow along just by going to your pipe drive uh, environment. And deals are the really the landing page of pipe drive. So when you navigate to your pipe drive and open it up, um, it's probably going to land on the deals screen. So this is where our deals all live uh, in our pipeline. We can navigate, we can um, move them from one stage to another within the pipeline just by dragging and dropping them like this. We can actually even, them, even move them from uh, one pipeline to another, but before we do that, here we only have one pipeline, so we're going to have to create a new one. So we just hit create new pipeline. And you can edit the stage names here, um, the pipeline name itself. So let's just say project development. And then we would want to edit these stage names as well. Um, and you can do that right here. Project planning. project execution, and then maybe a um, project review lessons learned stage where you would gather that information, just as an example. Um, and then we wouldn't need these other stages, let's say, so you can just delete them by clicking this. So we can say delete stage, delete stage. So in our example here, we only have three stages, um, but it's easy enough to add a new stage just by clicking that button. And then here we can adjust the probability. And if you hover over this little um, question mark symbol, it'll explain um, a probability in succinct terms, but basically um, each stage could have a different probability um, in terms of winning the deal by the close date. So for example, in our, um, and you can toggle this on and off right here, by the way, but if we just save this and go back to our original um, pipeline here, Um, for example, in the qualified stage, uh, you might not have a 100% confidence that this deal would be won. So if we go to edit pipeline, you could go ahead and turn deal probability on and bring this up to, let's say, um, 50%. And then contact made, maybe that's 60%. Demo scheduled, maybe that's 70%. Oops. Proposal made, maybe that's 80%. And then negotiation started, let's say that's 95%. And then up here you can see the probability of the revenue um, actually coming through to you. And our example here is $100 for our deal. So we've got a $50 um, probability with it being in the qualified stage, which is 50% as we just said it. And again, to edit the pipeline, we just click this little pen icon here. 
and we can turn the deal probability off. And you can hover over this question mark again to kind of dig into that. Um, I believe deal probability also has a um, page on the knowledge base that uh, would be worth looking into as well if you have questions about it. We can also, by the way, completely reorganize our pipeline just by dragging and dropping the stages into a different um, order. But we're going to leave this stuff as is. We can also toggle on rotting in. So this is going to alert us if we have inactive deals um, by coloring them red. So if our qualified deals have been rotting for, let's say, three days, um, they would show up in red. And I think this deal has been sitting here for enough time to where it will. OK, not quite yet. So I do want to show what that looks like, though. So let's see if one day we'll toggle that. Nope, not quite yet. But basically, um, it would turn red here, and it would be pretty obvious that you needed to um, give this deal some attention. But that rotting deals feature is something that you can either turn off or turn on. So having multiple pipelines is really great, and it really allows you to um, really customize pipe drive to suit your organization's needs. So it's an easy to move deals from one pipeline to another. We can click this, and then down at the bottom, you'll see we've got the options to delete, mark it as lost, mark it as one, or move it to another pipeline. I'm just going to move my presenter controls here. And then we say move to, sorry, <laughs> moving my uh, presenter controls again. Um, so we're going to drag this over to move to. And then we can move it to a different pipeline here. We'll say project development. We can save it to um, either deals or leads. We're going to keep this in deals. And then we can determine which stage this is in immediately just from here. If you hover over them, you can see what the stage name is. So this is project planning, project execution, and then project review. So we'll say it's in the execution stage. And if we save that, it'll disappear from this uh, from this pipeline. And if we head over to project development, we will see our deal just as we moved it into the pro in the project execution stage right here. So to give a real life example, um, if you were a realtor, for example, maybe you would have you know, one pipeline just for your normal um, home buying process, but maybe you could have a second pipeline for uh, checking in on successful um, deals or, you know, people who have bought homes through you um, in three years or, you know, five years, whatever the case may be. But you could have a couple of stages here to, um, kind of remind you or let you know where um, those home buyers are at in that process. All right. And then finally, the last thing I wanted to um, mention here, or I've got two things more I wanted to mention. So first, we can actually reorder our pipelines by clicking this drop down and then clicking this button, and you can determine which should be on the top of your list. And then we can also determine um, what filter we should have on here. So this filter we have on right now is showing everyone's deals. Um, but we can, as an administrator, we can look at other people's deals listed here. We also have our own, um, you know, our own filter. I'm saying filter, but 
really it's filtering it by the owner. We can go to the actual filters tab here to see all one deals, lost deals, deleted deals, etc. And like I said, we can have one deals still in our um, pipelines. So if I just mark this as one, we get a nice little graphic here. <laughs> Very satisfying. Um, but you'll see this disappears from our pipeline. Fear not, we can get it back again. We just go over to our filters um, and we can see all open deals, all one deals. We can add a new filter and we should be able to just um, display all deals. Not sure if it'll let me do it this way. Um, deal status <clears throat> is open and oh, deal status is lost and deal status one so here's we're just creating a filter that'll show open lost and one deals all in the same um, view so we'll say all deals Just making sure we haven't lost our deal here. There it is. All right. Oh, I made a critical error with our filter we just made. Let's uh, let's fix that. So um, if we go back to all deals, we can't have this all be and. A deal can't be open and one and lost. That doesn't make sense. So instead, we are just going to Um, remove these from this section and add them to this section here and match any of these conditions, not all of these conditions. So we want the deal status is open, deal status one. This is more representative of what we want. So I'll open and one deals. There we go. We're going to save that. And this will show our deal as expected. And if we needed to um, move this back to our original pipeline, that is easy enough to do. Swap over to our other pipeline, and there it is. This little icon, by the way, can display um, overdue activities, or really any activity, um, but in this case, it is showing overdue activities. I just wanted to call that out there. And then if a deal is one, it's going to be kind of highlighted in green here. All right, so that was a nice overview of pipelines. Um, if you have any questions on this at all, you can go ahead and email me, megan at marksgroup.net, um, or check out our blog post about Pipedrive. And I will see you guys next time. Stay tuned for some more Pipedrive training videos um, in this playlist.